We're now joined live by the former Reagan administration official, Paul Craig Roberts. Now, Paul, the way that Victoria Newland has been speaking, it seems that NATO seriously believes that Russia is set to invade the Baltic states. <laughs> they might be that stupid. <laughs> I wouldn't put any stupidity past Victoria Newland. Look, what this, what this is all about is Washington had hoped to grab Ukraine, especially the Russian naval base in Crimea, in order to evict Russia from the naval base and thereby cut them off from the warm uh, water port and access to the Mediterranean. Now, Washington lost that game. So they're trying to retrieve it by starting a new Cold War. And that's what all this talk is about. Now they're pretending that Russia, <laughs> that Russia is going to invade the Baltics or Eastern Europe. This and is yet, an Paul, absurd... Though, uh, surely a Cold War now is likely if we see this sort of reaction from NATO. This is obviously a, a regular annual uh, exercise, but as Newland says, there's definitely an increase in troops' presence. And this very nature of their presence in this way, it is provocative and could cause a Cold War? Well, uh, Washington wants a Cold War. They need it. I mean, look, um, <clears throat> they've been defeated in Afghanistan. They were blocked from attacking Syria and Iran. So they've got to keep the military security complex funded because that's where an important part of their campaign contributions come from. You see, when Washington gives the taxpayers money to the military sector, it is cycled back in campaign contributions to keep them elected, keep them in office. So they have to have conflict. So uh, with the wars in the Middle East winding down, apparently, they have to start a new conflict. And since they lost their plan to take over the Ukraine, which is defected, and much of it back to Russia, they're going to start a new Cold War. That's what this means. Now, they haven't put enough troops or aircraft in these countries to make any difference, but they want to. So what Russia is faced with is a new Cold War, and the best thing the Russian government could do is just ignore it and go on making its relations with China and India and Brazil and South America and go on about its business and leave the dollar system and simply quit trying to be accepted by Washington. Washington is not going to accept. Let me read you the Wolfowitz Doctrine. This is Paul Wolfowitz, the uh, Deputy Secretary of Defense. This is the Wolfowitz Doctrine. Our first objective is to prevent the reemergence of a new rival, either on the territory of the former Soviet Union or elsewhere, that poses a threat on the order of that posed formerly by the Soviet Union. This is a dominant consideration underlying the new defense strategy and requires that we endeavor to prevent any hostile power from dominating a region whose resources would, under their control, be sufficient to generate global power. Now, by hostile power, Wolfowitz means any country that's not under Washington's thumb any independent country. So that's the doctrine here. And I think the best thing the Russian government can do is to acknowledge that that is the doctrine. They can't work anything out with this doctrine because Russia, being a rising powerful state like China, is by definition a hostile power. Paul, thank you for your thoughts on this. Paul Craig Roberts, live here on RT International. Good to talk to you. Thank you.